uh, but I've never shared my story uh, publicly. Well, it's not just my story, it's mine and my daughter's, uh, because they live through it too. And how many daughters do you have? I have two daughters. Two daughters. Yes. And, and all told, how many years was this that you were, you were sort of... Almost, almost uh, nine years. And as I said when I spoke, um, about five days after I got married, um, he said something to me. And it was one of those things I kind of got cold shivers and I got a knot in my stomach. And I thought there's something wrong. Uh, I just didn't realize um, exactly what it was. But it was a trap and I felt the trap was, when I look back, the trap was being set at that moment. And uh, uh, it just went on for nine years until I could finally get out of it safely with my two daughters. Um, I remember having black eyes and putting makeup on my eyes to cover it up and, uh, and going to work. And I don't normally wear much makeup, so it was obvious that something was happening and uh, nobody would speak to me. Uh, I mean, they'd speak to me, but not about, you know, what's, what's wrong or what's going on. Um, and I have to say, during that time, my mother-in-law was probably my greatest support. And uh, I don't think I would have survived had she not been there. Uh, but at the very end, uh, he was holding a gun on her and uh, my two daughters when I came back from court, uh, after they'd let him go. And um, uh, I guess... One of the things that I have a problem with is calling it domestic violence. It is assault. It is sexual assault. It is all of those things combined. And to say that it's domestic violence, uh, the courts seem to um, look at it as a lesser offense because you chose to be in that relationship. Well, you didn't choose to be in a violent relationship. You chose to be in a relationship and certainly didn't expect it to be like that.